saying that Genshin could never is wrong. But only because you're saying it the wrong way. It's not that Genshin could never, it's that Genshin would never. This is the much more accurate descriptor of what is happening in the situation. It's that they could do better, they just choose not to do better. And let me explain why. So I'm going to assume you guys have probably heard about the producers and which one oversees each game. I would pronounce this guy's name, but I'm sure I'm gonna butcher it. He is the producer for Genshin Impact, and he used to be the producer for Honkai Impact 3rd back in 2017. Now that guy is actually the richest person in this whole entire city in China. So just to kind of give it a little bit more backstory, this is literally the richest man in this city. So I imagine the way he got there probably wasn't by giving things out for free too much. Now for this individual's past, for the past games that we've had, like Honkai Impact 3rd, there were definitely times where he was not the most generous and kind of stingy, you could say, in the past times with how things would get distributed. But once again, he had stepped down from that role of directing or producing rather Honkai Impact 3rd and now he produces Genshin. Now this Giga Chad is David. David is the producer for Honkai Impact 3rd from 2017 to the present. And of course, Honkai Star. So you can kind of see what's happening here. I'm sure you guys have heard the story already between the producers and who oversees what, but that's kind of the reason why these things happen in terms of generosity, but there's still the dev work. Now, I don't know how credible this site is exactly. It's just called Pocket Gamer Biz. I'm not quite sure, but to be fair, this actually mentions that he had stepped down as a chairman and Liu Wei, like Liu Wei. And it mentions that he has stepped down from that role specifically, but he's still in the company's largest shareholder. So still a very big part of the actual company. And that's why he oversees one of the games. But once again, with a lot of things in life, it just comes down to the people who are running it and who's in charge. So once again, I just want to stress the point that it's not so much that they couldn't or they can't ever, they could never. It's they wouldn't, they would never. Unless for some reason that guy steps down completely and he's no longer in high Everest at all and someone else can fully take over, hopefully even David, then maybe this could be a thing. And for all Genshin fans out there, myself included, I really don't want you to see this as a negative, condescending thing. Like, my, my favorite game is being attacked. This is more of a tough love sort of angle, you know? That's what it is. And... With the whole Chinese community, of course, that's just the way they worded things. And it's like, hey, for three years, here's three wishes. You know, it's just like, what? Take those three wishes and, you know. But the point is, at the end of the day, so many of us just want to see Genshin thrive. And we want to see it do better. That's like the main goal of all this and what's happening right now. I, I really want people to understand that. I mean, some people just don't want the game to do good at all. But for the most part, I feel like most people want to see it do better. You know, they would like to see it do better. They they know that they could because now we have a clear cut example that is Star Rail. So we know what they're capable of doing. They're just not doing it, which goes back to my point where it's more of they would never more than they could never. They absolutely can. They're just not and they're not doing it they could they just don't so we would like to see it do better i want to see it do better and from not even not even just a generosity standpoint of like how many wishes we get but for me it's more of a dev standpoint you know like the devs and actually adding things to the game that we can enjoy as like players who've been playing for a long time so we're not just running the abyss for the thousandth time we're not just doing the same old thing a thousand times, you know, like as somebody who plays both games, I by no means am like trying to defend the Genshin side. Like, you know, I'm all in agreement with what people are saying. They could do better and I want them to do better. Right. I, I don't want, I don't want them to just get the same things we already get and, you know, things to remain the same always, you know, I would like to see it do better. I would love to see it do better, you know? So, I, like I said, I don't really want people to see it as a, you're attacking my game. It's it's more like, this is kind of needed, especially from the CN community, because that's who's actually going to get their message across. And, you know, maybe they'll actually listen. But this kind of happens every year in a way. This one just really kind of blew up. 
But all in all, I kind of just wanted to, to spread the message of change that middle word a little bit. You know, it's not so much they couldn't, it's that they wouldn't. We hope they do. We're advocating for them to. So we'll see what happens going forward. And happy lantern, right? <laughs>